Hi everybody and welcome to Mr. GT Online. This video does show you all the mysterious slash special or say the secret activities that we have in GTA Online. These activities cannot be launched to the pause menu or through any kind of menus but you need to do certain requirements and then these activities would really spawn. All these activities are indicated by a blue dot in this game. By all the research that I have done regarding this video, what I have found till the summer DLC for 2022 that was the Criminal Enterprises DLC, there are currently 7 blue dot missions that we currently have in this game. Note that all these missions have the same similar point to spawn that is a blue dot that is same across all the seven missions. It's just that the blue dot remains same for all the seven missions. Now once you you know get to spawn those missions the blue dot will remain the same for all missions but then the missions in themselves are very much different. Now there are several requirements or say various requirements for these missions to spawn. The common requirement will be to stay 20 to 25 minutes in a lobby and when I say in a lobby that means you just get out of your houses, penthouses, do not be in any kind of a building just stay on the roads or on the streets that's it for 20 to 25 minutes and then these activities will spawn now let's talk about the specific requirements for each of the activities i have already made a similar guide to all the special or the secret guns and weapons that we have in this game in case you want to check out that guide it will be on the top right of your screen and i just want to thank you all for showing so much love and support to that special guns and secret guns video the link will be or the say the i button will be on the top right of your screen so make sure if you want to know what all are the secret and special guns you check out that video as well now without further any delays now let's get straight into the video on number one we have the exotic exports blue dot now this blue dot will spawn again randomly in any kind of a lobby exactly like this now once you are around this area you will get to see this blue dot and the main or the kind of an easy thing to spawn all these blue dots after fulfilling the requirements is to go to an oppressor mark 2 or take an oppressor mark 2 or a chopper or an hydra and move all around the locations this will make the task really really easy and this thing having an oppressor mark 2 or a hydra or a chopper or a helicopter will be an easy requirement for all of these seven activities as it would just you know make you roam around the map very easily and spawn all of these events now for this exotic exports event as i mentioned it will be a random spawn on several locations i will attach the map after this clip for all the spawn locations to this exotic exports activity you just need to go to this location as you saw in the earlier clips take out the car once you get in the car and then just deliver it to a certain location so once you deliver it to the certain location and it will just give you some money and this is how the first activity is this is known as exotic exports you just need to make the car spawn once you sit in the car go to the location and then just deliver it to earn some money that is it this is the first mission and one more thing to note over here is that this mission is associated with the auto shop. So this is an auto shop activity. Now moving on towards the second prop or the second blue dot that we have in this game. This is related to a movie prop. You will see the blue dot named as a movie prop. Now how to start this as you will have to come exactly at this location on the map. And there is exactly this logo or kind of a action board at this location. You will have to go inside this area to start off that spawn blue dot. Now. Once you go inside this area, this is a movie set and you see those blue circles, you just need to go inside them. There will be a short, you know, briefing kind of a thing and then you will be activating this mission. That mission is known as the movie props. It will basically give you the alien outfit in this game plus also some money. Now, in order to collect that alien outfit, you will need to have 10 movie props delivered back to this location. Once you deliver all those 10 movie props, you will get the alien outfit and some money. Now, where's the twist? Here it is. Now, out of those 10 movie props that need to be delivered exactly at this location, seven of those movie props locations are fixed. You will have have the movie props seven of those at those exact locations i'll be attaching a map of all those seven locations that will be the fixed location you can just go and collect the movie prop and drop it back here now the last three are the ones that will spawn randomly with that blue dot now exactly as you saw on your screen the blue dot just popped i was just randomly going over this location and this blue dot randomly popped and if you zoom at this blue dot in the map as well it would say the movie prop so yes the last three movie props are completely random and this is how they would spawn with the blue dot you just need to kill these persons and take the van back at exactly this location now once you are done with this you will be given some money and the alien outfit as i mentioned earlier as well now this is how the second category of blue dots actually work these act as the movie props and the last three movie props do spawn randomly in form of these blue dots and this was the second one now let's move on towards the next category of blue dots 
Moving on to the third type of blue dots that we see in this game. Now this dot would spawn by the name of a guard. Now once you go nearer to this location of the blue dot, there would be a person with the Kayo Perico dress or the Kayo Perico uniform, exactly like this. You need to just search him for a key. Once you find the small key, it would indicate as well that the small key has been found. And that key would be simply used in the Kayo Perico heist finale to get the Kayo Perico pistol or say the Perico pistol. And this is how this blue dot would work. Now once you're in the finale of this Kayo Perico, just this key would be used to unlock the drawer which has the Perico pistol in it. So yes, this blue dot actually works to find out the Perico pistol. As you saw in the earlier clips, there would be a guard that would spawn by the blue dot. Just loot him, find the key, unlock the drawer in the Kayo Perico's finale and then you would unlock the Perico pistol. That is how it is and this is the usage of this third dot or say the third blue dot that I showed you in this video. Now let's move on towards the next one. The next blue dot would would be by the name of a flare on the map exactly like this now what this would spawn once you are in a, any kind of a lobby for 20 to 25 minutes on any kind of streets don't be inside your houses just be on your streets for 20 to 25 minutes and then once you are roaming around you could find this kind of a blue dot which says flare it's just nothing you will just need to go exactly to this and there will be some trailing flares that you need to keep an eye on exactly just nearby to this location as you can see on your screen there will be trailing flares that will lead you to the final smuggler cage once you collect that smuggler case it will give you some 20 25 thousand dollars and then that is all this mission or this blue dot is all about now you can just see how this mission actually works and how you could get to the final smuggler case and this is how exactly this blue dot actually works you will just need to get to the final smuggler case by following some flares and that is how this mission or this blue dot actually works now let's move on towards the next one on number five of the blue dots in this game it's the smuggler plane activity once you focus on the map this blue dot randomly spawns at say smuggler plane it's the same conditions or the same requirements to say 20 to 25 minutes in any kind of a lobby and then once you are roaming around this dot would actually spawn and say smuggler plane you just need to do the exact same thing as last one this aircraft known as the kuban will exactly lead you to the smuggler case as the last activity so you just need to keep following the plane and once the plane crashes into the water just go inside it exactly like the last mission or the flare mission the last activity that I showed you exactly just swim in this blue area or the blue location that it shows on the map and then there will be the smuggler case that you will be collecting it will give you $25,000 and this is how this blue dot actually works now let's move on towards the next one Moving on now towards the next blue dot that we have in this game. Once you zoom out on the map, it would spawn by the name of crime scene. Now there are five crime scenes that would randomly spawn once you wait for 20 to 25 minutes in the lobby there are five of these crime scenes in total and once you go to investigate all of those crime scenes you will get the service caravan that is the new gun added the m16 now the requirement is only simple 20 to 25 minutes wait in a lobby and then these would spawn by the name of a crime scene and this is how this one the this blue dot actually works by the name of crime scene you just need to investigate all of these five crime scenes and as i mentioned these are completely random spawns. Once you are done completing or investigating all these, as I mentioned earlier, you will get some money plus the service carbine as well. Now let's move on towards the next one. The next one is known as a metal detector. Once you zoom it in the map, it will show you the same blue dot with the name as a metal detector. Go nearer to it and you will have a skeleton with the Kayo Perico map. Just go around it, find the metal detector and then the metal detector will be used in the Kayo Perico heist. You will need to launch the scope out mission for the Kayo Perico and according to this map, there will be the treasures in the Kayo Perico. You will just need to go to Kayo Perico and according to this map, you will need to find out the treasures. Each treasure will give you $15,000 and there are two, so total of $30,000 will be given to you. And this device that you have collected, the metal detector, that will be actually helping you on the Kayo Perico Island to get to these treasures and get the $30,000 in total. The requirements to start off or spawn this metal detector blue dot will be to stay 25 minutes in any kind of a session and then this blue dot will spawn which is the metal detector blue dot. There are certain locations for this as well but you as I mentioned earlier as well if you use Oppressor Mark 2 or the Hydra and move all around the map you will find these blue dots easily. And this is how this blue dot actually works. Now let's move on towards the next one. The next blue dot, once you zoom inside the map, it will show you the name of a drug package. It will randomly spawn with the blue dot icon as well. So yes, it will show you the name of a drug package. You need to simply go nearer to it and there will be a car with two, three people surrounded with it. You just need to kill the two, three people and get the car to the certain location and you will be given the money. That is $10,000. And this is how this kind of blue dot actually works. So the main motive is to get the $10,000. Now let's move on towards the next one.
in the series of blue dots in this video this one is the last one this one is how to unlock the secret gunman for the casino heist it will be patrick mcreary this is a secret gunman or he is a secret gunman and this blue dot will spawn exactly like this as you saw it will randomly spawn and this will be the van that will be there you need to just kill the driver and then take this van to the location and this would unlock as i mentioned earlier the casino high secret gunman known as patrick mcreary he would help you in the casino heist, obviously and this is how the large blue dot actually works Another thing, once your requirements have been fulfilled to this event, this event would randomly start and the best way to notice that this event has started, you will be facing randomly two stars will appear and this is how you will know that this event has started. Simply kill the driver as you saw in the earlier clips and take him to the location to his safe house and this is how this blue dot actually works. Not talking about the requirement on how to spawn this blue dot, it will be at least three players in any kind of a lobby and you need to wait and there are certain locations as well for this but as I mentioned in the earlier clips of this video as well the best and the easiest way to spawn all of these blue dots would be to be in any kind of a lobby with at least three players wait for 20 to 25 minutes in that lobby and then these all blue dots will start to spawn one by one this is the easiest and the fastest way that i could see all these blue dots spawning now i hope you enjoyed this video and found this informative in case you found this video informative please make sure to leave a like down below and also do consider subscribing the channel i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and bye bye